stomp around in the forest some more. Um, I feel like we've gotten most of what we need for the town. So I feel like we're probably approaching the end of the dungeon. So we're probably gonna have a boss coming up soon. Oh, jeez, I gotta freaking pay attention. Right, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Gotta remember, Xiao is basically our main character for now. Um, we need fish magic. Fish, fish killer, right? Yes. Attack, endurance, and speed as well. We'll work on that bit by bit. We'll upgrade. Do we have anything equipped on her original wooden slingshot? I don't think we do. I think I removed it all. Yeah, okay, good. Slash, does Goro have anything on his? Fire. Oh, right, because we're, we're making him have a fire weapon. Because I didn't know what else to do with it. have enough fish. Ooh, her endurance is, is solid. That's good. Let's attack and speed. Hey, we have enough fish magic. Enough of the anti-fish power. So we need attack power and we need speed. Um, we don't have anything that boosts I mean, we don't really need the speed power right now. Let's put the diamond on here just for while we're using the weapon. I'm gonna swap to Toan so he can get back to touching all the balls. She one-shot the hornet. I actually kind of don't want her to be this strong because I want to be able to steal from stuff, you know? At the same time, I do want her to be this strong. It's very nice. Ooh, and a big old chest. That is amazing. Hey, we got a third well. All right, that's the final building. We're gonna shoot. Shoot at the King Prickly. Uh, oh no, I was afraid of that. Escape powder, that's not bad. I was hoping for a weapon, but I'm, I'm always hoping for weapons. Um, There is another, <laughs> there is exactly one other slingshot that I would like to get. Ooh, we stole the Halloween's bomb nuts. Magic crystal, that's very nice to have. And the map, also pretty good to have. go down and clear out these rooms here real quick. So many king pricklies. Shiny stone. Oh, Thursdays are the worst days. These guys are terrible. Thursdays are awful. Throw those poisonous apples, just like the witches. Oh, 
Boy, those King Pricklies are really non-threatening if you realize that they're there and don't just walk into them like an idiot. <clears throat> Not that I would ever do that. Not that I would ever do that several times. Ooh, stamina drink. Um, we have a couple of things for Mr. Owl. We have at least one. Do you want the red berry? No. Do you want the shiny rock? Yay, he did want the shiny rock. You're welcome, Mr. Owl. What are you doing? You're just sitting on the chair. She... <laughs> if I had my phone nearby, I would like take a picture of this. If it wasn't such a hassle to get it up onto the stream. She's sitting on the chair, but she's sitting like a human. Or like a dog or something. She's grooming herself, but she keeps getting distracted because there's birds out the window flying around. So it looks like you're just kind of sitting there. Because you keep forgetting to go back to licking yourself again. Nope, I pointed it out. She's gone. She's left. She's gone. I'm sorry, kitty. I didn't mean to ruin it. Alright, well, she's gone forever now. Sounds cute, tell her she's cute. Cat, I don't even know where you went, but you're cute wherever you are. You're a very pretty kitty. Nope, she's not even in the room. Ooh, Goro time. Goro smash. Goro, who has uh, either eaten a duck or installed a duck into his hammer or something. I don't know why he quacks every time we swing the hammer, but... It's just his own special sound effect. I didn't realize you ducked in your- oh my gosh, this is so obnoxious. Please stop. There we go. Um, Actually, there's enough stuff on this floor. I feel like this is probably the final floor. I feel like the next floor is probably going to be the boss. Poison apple here in a second. Oh, oh man! Stupid poison apples. Uh, slash, I don't want to be him anymore. Let's go back to Shao. Max weapon HP went down. Dang it, game! your nonsense. Wow, she's just one-shotting everything. This is amazing. This bandit slingshot is the best. What a good weapon. Ooh, a Dran's feather! Those are pretty nice to get. Because they just stop working. They just die every now and then. They just break. I don't know how a feather breaks. That is what seems to happen. Um, because I am increasingly thinking that the next floor is just going to be a boss. We might just want to go back and deal with the village. So I think we'll do that. I think we'll do that. Leave the dungeon temporarily. What do we got to assemble here? Oh no, we're still missing Gob. 
We're still missing people. Well, never mind then. Shows what I know. Back into the dungeon. We're missing at least two people. So if we get both people, I think we're missing like another water wheel. And like one or two sets of stairs. So if we get those things, then I, I will feel confident that we're done. We're like, we're really running out of items we, we know we need to get for town. There is probably like more road and maybe like some more river or bridges or something too. Oh my gosh. I hate these earth diggers. Shao, please don't die. Ah, shoot it. Kill it. Terrible, terrible, terrible creatures. Hey, there's a gob. Oh, and there's the owl. Okay. Oh, yes, werewolf time. I'll steal all of your standard powders. Ooh, and we filled up the bandit slingshots. Abs. That's very nice. Um, I don't know what I want to put on this because we need to boost its attack power, and I don't really have any way of doing that. Wind it has a lot of wind magic. I guess we could stick another wind magic up here. Speed plus one is so minor and so like inconsequential feeling. We could eat another like weapon sphere on this, but I don't really want to do that. Oh, hey, it's MP is actually high enough. So speed and attack, and then we can upgrade it. That's really cool. We probably need a stupidly high amount of attack power. We're probably gonna have to get that from consuming a synth spear. So either that or like go fishing to get some more gems or something. Or get lucky and get a sundew. And then get lucky when we use the sundew to go to a back floor. And hope that we get some gems that'll boost attack power. Of which I think only like a couple of them. I think there's only like one or two that do that. Oh my gosh, these earth diggers are so terrible. I know, game. I'm getting it low on purpose. Okay. We'll repair the bandit slingshot plus three. Two moles give as much as one werewolf. Werewolves are so lucrative to kill. All right, please don't be a king mimic. Ah, turn it. Powder. Boy, do we not need so many of those. Yay, a berry from the Mimic. Um, this one had a switch, didn't it? Yeah. It was a Goro door. If we get another Bandit Slingshot... Which 
which is incredibly unlikely considering how difficult it's been to get this one. Oh. The downside to stealing so much stuff. Our bag is full. Uh, eat a bread, I guess. Huh. Um, if we got another one, I think we could turn it into a synth sphere that would have the steel ability. So whatever weapon we equip that on would keep the st like it would also gain the steel ability. So we could steal items on like a sword or something. So getting more of these would be fan freaking fantastic. However, that is also remarkably unlikely. Right. Bag is still full. Oh, you know what? Here's what we should be doing. Um, especially these guys, because they drop the bomb nuts. I don't know if we can kill ourselves from the bomb, but I think we can. Plant Buster. Apparently those guys are plants. That's funny. I never would actually have guessed that. Revival Powder. Interesting. That's actually really good to have. You missed! I hate how hard it is to like land bombs and stuff in this game. There we go. Ooh, holy magic. Werewolves must be weak to holy magic. That's awesome. Just worried the King Mimic will try to take my place. That's true. Although everyone would know that it's not the real King. Because it would just be a Mimic. No cheap imitations around here. Only me, the real deal. Oh yay, the crystal. Now <laughs> we know where everything is. Ooh, a fire gem. That's very nice. Uh, all right, Toen. I see lots of balls that you need to run around and touch. Owen sure does love touching all the balls. Nobody else wants to touch him. I mean, it, I guess it's good for everybody to have their own niche, but... pretty good about going back to town. Also, we need to just, like, go sell a bunch of this junk. Oh, Slash, let's have Toen splash around in the water. Everybody, everybody get your fill. bought too many cheeses. Hello. Okay. Let's go give crap to the owl. Man, we haven't seen any sundews. We got so lucky. We got like three or four of them in a row. And then they're just, they're all gone. No more. Never again. There you go. You don't want the rock. Do you want the berry? Yay, he wanted the berry. One can never have too much cheese. Monster Cookie Mon. I think you can't have too much cheese. I think you could be so physically weighed down with cheese that you can't move. 
Oh, I didn't mean to go to the next floor. Oops. Oh well. Let's see what we got. We can always leave if it's terrible. Slash, I think we need a thing. I think that's what this is telling me. Light is coming from the soil. Yes, yeah, so we need we need the magic legendary sword to open the path to the moon village. So. Time to sell a bunch of our junk. Sell the speed items. We might actually be okay on like holy magic for for stuff for a little while. Let's go, I'm gonna go put a bunch of stuff in storage. How about that? Well, let's see. Actually, we should maybe sell stand-in powders, escape powders and stuff. Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't care enough to have those in storage. a little bit. Um, what else did Gaffer have? He had the magic, and then he had uh, like Dino Buster or something, didn't he? Let me just check a couple of weapons real quick. Uh, the Buster Sword. Kato Kato Exo, I would ask you to keep your chat uh, PG rated. Watch the profanity, please. That is why I will delete the message. Slash why I did delete the message. Um. We only really need holy and magic, like MP for this. And you don't need any magic for this, you just need like raw stats at this point. Double impact. Yeah, because you got the attachment. Um, so we meet the requirements with all this stuff, but that's absurd. You're taking off Vincent. Have a good evening. Have a good weekend. Ha have fun at work. Ugh. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, the, the mushroom house has another mushroom on top of it. That's awesome. That's the upper floor that we built. That's so cool. Uh, we're gonna go over to Couscous. Hello, giant turtle friend. 
Um, yeah, we'll check in, like, some stuff here. That is enough space. Oh, look at that. He had a thing hidden behind the plant. Do you have any more hidden stuff? Oh, no. Don't care. Sorry, Couscous. Don't want to talk to you. Ugh. house. Just looking to see if there's any, like, obvious treasure chests outside. And I'm not really seeing any. So we'll come back and, and look at, for these after we do the, uh, after we finish the boss. Um, uh, oops. Correct buttons, wrong order. Let's do this. Row. They have the same masks. Gob's house. Manly man with an alligator mask. I like that. We have the sign. Um, we've got like a well or water, water wheel or something. A couple of those. Ah. Well, don't really have a place to put you that I care about just yet. Sure. Um, what else do we have? Watermills. This one needs a torch and the actual water wheel. Yay! Um, it's already been placed. We're going to place like the trees and stuff too. I'm not worried about those. And then the last couple of things go to. Oh, they're going to want probably the balcony, would be my guess. And then Gob's going to want the bone and the tree stump. So we need to find Row. Ooh. Aha. Speaking of obvious treasure chests, which I was speaking of earlier. There we go. Row. Yeah. You and your wife look almost identical. You're not from around here. Where are you from? Hello. I see you're from Norin Village. Then this must be your first time in this village. Welcome. There are people who criticize us for our hunting style. But what's wrong with using your head? They're just jealous. Oh, yeah, they use traps. And everyone else is like, psh, real hunters kill things with their bare hands. True hunting comes from traps. You win by thinking tactically. That's why our hunting works. And I'm not going to let anyone criticize our hunting style. We're real proud of our mushroom house. It's made from the legendary giant mushroom. It's one of a kind. Sure is something, isn't it? It is. Boy, it is. Manataki Village is a good place, full of nature. But the folks are all so hot-blooded, we should calm down. Forty years since I met Annie, we've had our ups and downs. <laughs> a young lad like you doesn't want to hear about that stuff. Okay. Uh, good view. You got it. Uh, what do you need for the house? Balcony. So we'll just finish off their house real quick. And then get our event. Ugh. So because we're going to be finishing off everything, we're, I guess we can just rearrange the village and try to go for a full 100%. Make everyone happy. Come on up here. Oh, look, you got a ladder. That's cool. Thank goodness we didn't have to watch the slow ladder climbing animation. What do you think? The view appears great, isn't it? Should have told him with that stupid look on his face always. 
Yeah, it's not a bad view. I like that it's kind of mostly the village, the way that we had it set up. I'm so happy now that the house is restored. I owe all of this to you. Really, thank you so much. Give me a present. Now I need to return the favor. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. Right, that's it. I have just the thing. Honey, what's keeping you? There's a lot of crap in here. That's what's keeping me. Where did I put it? Look at all the boxes of stuff. They have an attic for their attic. Uh-oh. Don't fall. Ah! She's dead. Nah, she's fine. He's fine? Is that the guy or the girl? I can't tell them apart. Ooh, the moongrass seed. I found it while walking in the woods looking for giant mushrooms. It never grows wherever I plant it. Triant said that something that it'll be something very good someday, but it only grows in a special place in the woods. Since you seem to go into the woods a lot, you might be able to find that special place. Good luck to you. Bye. Good luck and get out of our house. Um, we, since I haven't seen, I haven't like gone up to the, the upper floor since we placed it. I want to go up here and look for treasure. Also, we saw this one as we're climbing. Hey, hey, hey look at that, a sundew. How convenient. It's almost as if the game knows exactly that we need one. Fruit of Eden. That is very nice to have. has an issue with mushrooms. I just like some enough to build a house out of them. It seems like it wouldn't be a very solid house. I don't know. How, how does he deal with like rain and stuff? Oh, slash, they don't get rain here very often. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can handle living inside a giant mushroom. Wouldn't it, like, start to decay and fall apart after a while? Ah, it just, just seems like a terrible idea. Uh, Gob, are you home? We'll never know, because the map won't let me land. This is a cool-looking house. He is home. Do you have any stuff before we talk? No stuff for me. Oh, you're not from this village. I don't know who you are, but that's okay. I'm Gob, the Vagabond Cook. Remember that. What? You're from Norun Village. Mm, the name's familiar. Ah, they grow good crops with the power of a mystical creature called Dran, our flying dog, bird, dragon friend thing. I'd like to eat some too someday. It's crops or Dran? It's not right to use knives as weapons. Knives are for cooking. It's not cool to cut a sea monster with one, mistaking it for a weapon. Is that... I'm, I'm so confused. Eating helps recover your stamina. Bread, cheese, and premium meat are a must for an adventure. Once I treated Mayor Baron to my manly cooking, he couldn't get enough. He sure has good taste in food. Hey, have you seen Momo? I haven't seen her today, either. I wish I could serve Momo some of my manly cooking. You, can't you do something about that? If you go to the town Queens, fresh fish are available. The key to cooking is fresh ingredients. Remember that. Okay, and now you're looping. These people are weird. Yeah, people in this town are really weird. <laughs> Good. Good thing you asked. I'd very much like to have my house close to Momo's house. Oh, you've, you've got a, you're, you got a creepy stalker syndrome thing going on here. What else do you want for your house? My house signature is a cool design combining bones and trees. I will keep that in mind. I just so happen to have exactly a bone and a tree in my inventory and literally nothing else. Funny how that worked out. Ooh. Ah. 
what was the what was the tree part of that? Oh, I guess the tree stump's on top. It's like on the roof. Huh. All right, whatever. I was hoping that he would have like stuff inside that I could loot. He had no chests. How boring is that? Ah, there you are, thanks to you. My house that I'm so proud of is restored. Today I will treat you with real men's cooking. It's a rare seafood dish. Make a fish candy. You're full already, but I still have a lot more. Already done. You can't go big and tall unless you eat. Ta-da! It's a gift. Take it. Frozen tuna. It's a bit big for takeout, huh? Seafood's hard to come by here. Enjoy. I ate what? Oh, thank goodness we got another fish candy. Give Xiao a respectable amount of defense. Only 24. Uh, we'll give the Fruit of Eden to Koro. And I think that's a weapon for Goro? Yeah, the frozen tuna. Frozen like a rock. You can't eat it, but you can hit things with it. Okay, weapon. Oh, uh, we'll take this off. Take this off. Goro, congratulations on your new weapon. A large fish. Does do a lot of ice damage. Holy cow, it has a lot of ice. And it needs even more to be upgraded. Alright, well, Goro's turning into a fairly respectable fighter now. Almost. Kind of. He's getting there. Uh, did you have anything? You, you still, even when we upgraded your house, you got nothing. You got no treasures in here. How boring. Okay. Um. You can also check out the wells, though I don't think any of them have anything here. So I think it's time that we rearrange the village. So Baron wanted to be right by the waterfall. He is old and hard of hearing, so we're gonna put him here. Um, you just want to be up high. Gob wants to be by Momo. I'm probably going to have to enlist chat to help me remember what people are after. Oop, nope, Mushroom House. Ugh. This menu is a little clunky. Um... to replace the uh, big old chunk of earth. There we go. I think that's fine. Uh, Momo wanted to be near the shop. Kai Momo. Come on. Why is Owl Shop? We are going to have to deal with you a little bit. Can I move? Yeah, we'll move some of the river. Um, how many more river parts do we have? 
18. We have a lot. Okay, so a lot of these... Yeah, we... Like, this is, this is a locked-in-place chunk of water here. He wanted to be surrounded by water. We still have to be able to connect the water back to... There we go. There we go. That's pretty good. Alright. Um, do we have any more bridges or two? Have to be good. Okay, Momo. Gob. We'll leave you there. Okay, so they're they're all good and happy. Um cacao? I don't remember what your deal was. You're the songwriter. You wanted it to be quiet or you wanted to be by just surrounded by trees, or I don't even remember. You're also not here. Gosh darn it. <sighs> I don't remember. Oh! Oh no! And it's dusk, so everybody moves. Dang it! Game! The weird day night cycle is such an odd mechanic. Hey, you're still right here. Good. Okay. Writing songs needs inspiration, and that means you need to hear the voices of nature, like the rustle of trees. So he might just need trees around his house. You don't care. Your brother's the one who's going to have an opinion. This guy was a complete jackass. Watermill. Okay. You want to have lots of trees, I think, by your place. Is there anywhere else I want to put you? Stick you over here. Is this a movable bridge? No. Is this a movable bridge? It is. So he might the the this guy might also just need specifically to be near like oh. <sighs> he might need to be near like a specific tree. He might need to be near like the uh, the tree ant or something. To keep that in mind. Arland91, hello. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Might also just not be enough room here. So we'll see. We'll see. Are you happy? Yes, this is great. This place heightens your senses. Thank you, Tone. Okay, good. He has all the trees. He probably didn't need that many, but oh well. You're happy. You should be happy. Wise Owl should be happy. You. Oh, Pow, I think, wanted to be next to this for fishing.
like this game. It reminds you of old times. Yeah, it's a really good game. I'd like to spread out the trees a little bit, you know? We'll place more of them here in a moment. Um, Pow just wanted to be like right next to the pond here. So we'll do that. And I think if we just place like all the rest of the, the trees and the roads and the river and stuff, that will be good. Oh, on the road. Do we have any road? Do not. Oh, we're missing another watermill. Slash, that's right. I removed that one. Okay. So we have five more units of water to place. Should be everything, so I think all of our people will be happy. I think so. Can I? Is there anywhere where I can drop myself off? There we go. Yeah, here we go. Cutscene. Woohoo! We did it. Somebody give me presents. It's the tree. Weird snail eye stalks. Since it did end up sacrificing somebody. Well. You know, I mean, you do what you gotta do to survive the workday, right? <laughs> Thanks to you, we have a gentle breeze blowing in Matataki Village. I'm grateful to you. Take this little one. Oh, he sneezed a magical... Level up powder. Power up powder. Alright. That's my way of saying thank you. An extraordinary item it is. Upgrades weapons unconditionally. Make the best of it, darling. Don't call me darling. You're a weird talking tree. Yay, Goro. Hey, tree ant. Tone gets a reward and I get nothing. That's not fair. <laughs> so you've noticed. Goro seems to have gotten his fire back. I'm glad. Here you go, little Goro. Take this. <laughs> A battle axe! Ooh, is that better than the frozen fish? Goro's dad, Fudo, used to own this. Take good care of it. This is about it. This is about all I can do for you. The rest of it, you'll have to do on your own somehow. Make sure you're prepared. hidden treasure chests or anything. I think we're I think we've pretty much got it all. Um I might shoot back by Goro's home one final time. Slash we should probably also duck inside all the uh watermills. Make sure we didn't miss anything. I don't know. Come on, game. There we go. Um, I don't think there's anything on top of any of the wells. This is a nice little village. Look at look at how nicely put together everything is. Whoever designed this and did all the layout and stuff, A plus. I really am just the best city builder. Um, I don't know. I don't. I, I don't think items are going to be up here on top of any of the wells. But I have to check. I have to check. I have to check. Because if there is one, I'll feel real bad if I never check and therefore just miss it. All right.
Alright, well, I guess we're done with all the water mills. That's a bummer. One more. Nothing going on up there. Just had to give his house another quick once over. There's nothing. Oops. Out we go. And we've seen treasure chests in like little, kind of tucked in little nooks and crannies around like the signs and the different areas. I think we've gotten all those. So yeah, we're, we're just going to pop into Goro's treehouse. Oh, camera. Oh, camera angles. We're going to pop back up into Goro's treehouse. We're going to give it one final look over, and then I think we go fight the boss. Oh, Slash, that reminds me. Goro. Since you're probably going to be... Holy moly! 65 attack power. It doesn't have any magic, though, probably. Three slots, too. Yeah, no magic. Whoa, Mimic, Mage, and Rock Slayer. And it needs fire magic and all of the different slayers. Holy crap. Uh, okay. Actually, I'll leave you with your ice for now. We'll equip the battle axe. Um, you're going to need lots of fire magic, so we may as well just start doing that. Okay. Camera. Camera boss does not want me to see anything that's going on here. The camera has, like, weird collision with, with the level geometry. It's like, I, I'm trying to rotate it, and I it just, I can't. The game's like, nah. Nah, none of that. I think we got everything. It feels pretty good. Let's check inside his house. Let me save and go fight the boss. Oh, and then we get to move on to a new village? I'm excited. Maybe we'll eventually find the Village of the Moon people who can tell us how to fight the evil genie that's destroying the world. fight a boss. Maybe? There we go. Um, Slash, do we have any other items, things to use? What's our inventory like? Oh, we do still have the power-up powder. Owen. Kinda want you using the Buster Sword for this. Look at all that holy magic. Holy cow, look at all that holy magic. Okay, save. <laughs> you almost forgot that today was Friday. No, it's still Friday. Sorry, I struggle keeping track of what day of the week it is. 
pretty much always. Pre pretty consistently. Dwelling of the Forest Guard. Alright. Moon Grass Seed. Part of the legend to find the secret hidden village of the moon people. Yay! We did it! That's how grass works. Something still missing! Maybe an item to speed up plant growth? Man, I really wanna go fight more werewolves and whatnot. I don't wanna I don't wanna squander my incredibly rare sundew. Just so we can go fight a boss. Ugh. Seems like such a waste. All right, here we go, cutscene. It's a giant monkey! Sorry, give me just a second here. I'm, I turned on the water for tea. So I was thinking ahead and knew that I was gonna need more caffeine, so I prepped this during the long break. So let me just get this started here. In a few minutes, I'll magically have tea. Alright. Let's fight the giant orangutan. Don't you throw barrels in Donkey Kong Country? Masterutan. Master Masterutan? Toan, he's behaving strangely, just like Dran was. Probably under the spell of the Dark De Genie, just like Dran was. You'll have to fight him, just like how you fought Dran. Sensing a theme here with, you know, the guardian deities of... Whoa! Oh, you do a lot of damage. I don't like this at all. No effect. Uh, do not like. Oh, we're attacking his feet. You know what we probably have to do? Gosh darn it, Tone, you're gonna die. Seeds. Oh, dang it. Please don't do this. I hate that it breaks lock on every time he backhands me like that. Okay. All right. We got in two hits. That feels pretty good. Is this really the whole fight? Do 60 damage with one of those. jump around so much. I don't know if I'm missing some- oh, no effects, dang it. Backhand is not enough, so those are two different attacks. Backhand and then the spin. Okay. 
Oh, you and your backhanding nonsense. I feel like the follow-up hit is kind of the only one that matters, but I don't know that for sure. Also, Doro eats some cheese. Just don't let him eat the fruit, because that's real bad just to deal with. Yeah, we're hitting him in the face. So that's that's what that is. Okay. So the face is probably where he's taking like actual health card damage. Gosh, darn it with the stupid back end, you obnoxious monkey. Yeah, there we go. Twelve damage per hit. Oh jeez, this is gonna take a while. I have by the way, I have absolutely no recollection of any of the boss fights in this game. This is, this, I, I have played this game before. I remember a lot of stuff about the game. I remember all the like city building stuff. These boss fights are like almost completely foreign to me. Oh man, Goro, you're getting wrecked. Here, eat. Eat a single loaf of bread, that'll be good. Hey, we got him, Never mind. The feet was doing damage to him the whole time. Perfect. Hell yeah. Did we kill a guardian deity? Nah, we just beat some sense in the What? What's happening to me? Who are you? Tarlin explains everything. Really? Oh, I didn't know. Wow. That was my fault. I must apologize to you. It was uncalled for. Oh, he has manners. What a nice monkey. Brown Boo Village? Yeah, I know it. It's where the little people are. Come on, I'll take you there. Just, just like that. Little People's Village is just over this rock. Which I will conveniently move for you. Oops. Mm, can't go any further on your own, can you? Wait a second. I'm gonna throw the rock. Yeah! Yeah! How's this? Curly-haired village chief is not so fond of humans, so watch yourself there. All right, the little moon people, here we go. Moon village. Brown Boo Village. These are the people who are presumably going to know about the Dark Genie, and they maybe created their their ancestors created the thing that sealed away the Dark Genie originally. Yeah, I remember this place. Holy crap! I remember looking at this place. This place is so cool looking. This is a neat village. That one's like spazzing out using his face to climb the ladder. That was, a, that was an interesting animation there. Mayday! Chief! This is weird. A human has come to the village. Mmm, they never learn. We'll have to go with the be aware of nights when stars fall plan. Yeltsy Kraken. Kraken! Kiwi, what? What? Natade, who are you? I'm a human. I'm not a human, I'm the human. I'm Toan, I'm quintessential human. So <laughs> leave me alone, will you? Apparently we're going up the ladder. Ow. <laughs> Bingo! First try, look at it. Like, it's boring, kinda. What do you do with this? <laughs> like, dang, nailed him on the first try. That 
That was, that was boring. And now Toen dies. Lowered into a pool of acid. So, you've come around. What does a human want in a place like this? The Dark Genie? What is that? It's no use talking nonsense. It's not nonsense. I'm sure sticking your head under the water will help you reconsider playing the fool. <laughs> Nam? What? This person seems to be telling the truth. Crystal has... P please, just, just come. Come see for yourself. All right, here we go. Brr. Clunk. Was he saying brr clunk, or was the crystal making like a mechanical noise? Or was he making a mechanical noise? Are these robot people? Oh, the Dark Genie's Castle, look at this. I mean, I assume it's the Dark Genie's Castle. It, uh, it would seem on brand. <laughs> He's just kicking back, smoking a cigar. <laughs> I love the Dark Genie. Wow. Hmm, I feel tremendous power. Yeah, you do. Are those rabbit paws? Are they are they rabbit people under those hoods? I bet you they're rabbits. This must be the Dark Genie that that human was talking about. Is this the evil genie of darkness that our ancestors sealed? Yeah. Or the Dark Genie for short. You dummy. Do they have the rabbit ears tucked into their hoods? I bet you that's what's going on. <laughs> You're telling us to seal it again? No way. Never. We could never seal that monster, not with the wimpy ability that we have now. We're useless rabbit people. Yeah, they're jumping everywhere. They're rabbits. Thea was right. Magic is indeed the secret power the moon people have passed on through the generations. But as we lived in this land for so long, we seem to have lost that ability. We just don't have the power to seal the genie anymore. Dang, I thought this was going to be a real short game, and now you're like, nope, there's more to do. Doesn't mean it's impossible, though. Well, what do we do then? There are no moon people left here who can still use magic, but if you go to the moon, there definitely will be those that can. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you should go to the moon. All right. Easy peasy. Do you, do you guys have like a ladder or something? Like how... People in Brown Boo have always prepared for this day to return. We have a ship that'll take us to the moon. It's hidden somewhere. What? Can we really do such a thing? Oh, well, that's okay. It's not like we were using it. Bring the moon orb! Roger. The orb of the moon is a sphere to move the moon ship. With the orb, you can remotely control the moon ship from anywhere. Has the orb been stolen? Oh no, it's missing! What a surprise! What an unexpected twist. Yes, the unexpected twist of the moon orb getting stolen. What do you mean? Does anyone know where the orb is? Everybody, empty your pockets. No, or Nem, sir. The other day... Joska went to Queens to sell moon fruits. Could it be that he accidentally sold the orb that was mixed in with the moon fruits? Joska? Yes. Do you know about the moon orb? Ah, well, I remember a strangely colored moon fruit mixed in with the others. How could you do that? I'm so sorry, Chief. See, he's got two rabbit ears. Look at that. Everybody else has both of theirs tucked into one thing. Hmm. Seems like we can't let you use the moon ship without the moon orb. You cannot operate the moon ship. When I go to Queens, find the orb yourself. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. You can find it on your own. These kind of things should be done by oneself, I suppose. And you'll uh, you'll return it after you're done with it. With them doing all the work, what are you doing? I will mark Queens on your map so you can go there and ignore the pointed question of what I'm actually going to be doing. You better get going. Bye bye. Get out of here quickly. Don't think about it, just go. What a bunch of useless moon people. Landbound moon people. Will you talk to me now? You may have destroyed Queens too. That spells serious trouble if you did. Yeah, I suspect we're gonna have to rebuild Queens to get the orb. Your adventurers heading for a faraway place. You really shouldn't go on foot. 
I mean, I'd take a moon ship, but, you know, fresh out of those. What? Just get out of the village now. They're all so cheerful and pleasant. I hear the shipwreck in Queens is haunted. Brr. Ooh, a haunted shipwreck. Oh, we can go inside their houses. This chamber is where moon fruits grow and are stored. You're strange, guard. Huh. I suspect there's gonna be more for us to do here. Sugar. Even if Mr. Nemo did, I'll never prove of humans. Humans! Huh. Bah humbug. Um, okay, so that's, that is like the entrance there. Where we enter the village. That strange colored fruit was the moon orb? Oh, oh my. Oh dear. I can't believe the Mayor Nemo is helping humans. Cool. That's a name for you. Imagine naming your kid. Cool. so many ladders. I'm already all turned around. Nope, this is the same house. I didn't mean to go back into this one. <sighs> oh, the camera flipped. That's what's going on here. Okay. You guys have, like, all these broken ladders. You need to fix your crap. Okay, that I think is the mayor's house. What was over here? We've not been in this one yet. I hear Queens is a great place with lots of good food. Mint. Did the fruit hit you? Sorry. Let me make it up to you. The keywords to create the mighty Heaven's Cloud are ice, thunder, wind, holy, dino beast, and metal. Sounds like a recipe for upgrading a sword. Of course, to build up to it, you must have a sword to begin with. Huh, okay. Are you nudging me down a certain upgrade path to get a really good sword, maybe? That's kind of cool, maybe. Also, it doesn't seem like it matters at this stage of the game. Weapon upgrades and things are so, so difficult and rare. I don't think we've been up here either. Let's do this. Theo! I've already marked Queens on the map. Select Go to Another Area from your menu. Do anything with the crystal? You guys are... You guys are boring and not very nice. Weird little anti-human rabbit people. Okay, I don't think there's anything else here for us. Let's just leave. Man, there's a lot of map less left for us to explore still. There's at least three more large areas on the map. And we're still missing half of our allies, right? We're going to get three more people to join us. Is this the craterous wasteland formerly known as Queens? It is. Oh, I do remember this place. I do very, very vaguely remember this place. Yeah, this is this is a cool layout. It's got this giant open area up here. It's got like a little canal running through it. Another giant area on the other side. There's an upper floor. This is going to be a fun place to rebuild. I think... Can we... Do you want to let me go somewhere, game? There we go. We need to find somebody to talk to to give us some sort of uh, sense of direction around here.
There's a person. Is he a ghost? We were told that the shipwreck's haunted. Oh, you? So there are other humans left here, other than myself. I thought I was the only one left in this whole wide world. Good to know there's someone, even though you are only a kid. I'm rando. I'm a complete rando. I'm just some random stranger. I sell stuff. Oh, you're towing. I don't have to stand here talking. Why don't we go over to my shop? I like shops. Do you sell good stuff? Are you just going to sell stuff right at the gate, or do I have to do a bunch of nonsense chores for you first? What? They brought that fat beast back to life? The fools! They must have been from the east. They're up to some madness again, those blasted easterners. Oh, so the east is probably... Like, the final showdown. That's probably where we're going to go fight the genie. That would make sense. Blood-sucking scum of the earth. Even back then. Boy, dude, you've got some... Uh, you're, you've got some harsh judgments for people from the east. So, what's the moon orb like? This thing that you're looking for. Hmm, it might be lost in the undersea treasury. How long ago were these moon fruits sold? When did this... How long have you guys not had the moon fruits? I mean, clearly this happened, like, before the genie attacked everything. Anyway, it's a shipwreck at the bottom of the Queen's Sea. Most merchants in Queens use it as a warehouse. Why do you source... What? Merchants store their goods in a haunted shipwreck at the bottom of the ocean? How? That seems not very practical. It's changed lately. Now, there's monsters everywhere. That giant monster that attacked Queens must be the cause. Today, it's so dangerous a place that we can't even go get our merch. Do you still want to go? Alright, I'll help you. Come follow me. You're going to use me to try to get all your stuff back. This Queens is a town of merchant traders. Some items we handle are really rare and expensive. Such expensive items need special care and handling. The safest place to keep them is uh, kind of a huge safe at the bottom of the ocean. You're wondering why that ship sank there, aren't you? It was about a hundred years ago. The queen, reigning over Queens, passed away. That was when the townspeople who adored the queen decided to sink her favorite ship along with her. So like a burial at sea in like the literal sense of you put her body on a boat and sink the boat. Alright. That's the wrecked ship at the bottom of the sea near Queens. When Queens revived as a merchant town, the late Queen's sunken ship started to serve as the undersea treasury. Sounds a bit disrespectful, but you know, merchants are uh, practical. They make the best of any situation. They care little for your so social taboos. What? Oh, how are you going to get there? In this magic submersible. It's the submarine turtle. It makes trips to and from the shipwreck. Oh, so one merchant probably decided, hey, we should store a bunch of crap there and I'll run a little ferrying service to, like, I'll keep your stuff safe. I'm the only one that has a submersible. So I'm the only one that has access to it. So he, he effectively is like a banker. Storing stuff. Interesting. What a, what a nice little racket that the owner of Turtle got up to. This is what the merchants use to ride to and store valuable items in the treasury. There you go. It's all yours. It only carries one person at a time. You'll have to go alone. You, you'll have to go alone. Also with your two friends. How do you operate it? Just get in. It takes you right to the shipwreck. Designed for merchants who don't know how machines work and are only good at counting money. I'll leave my store stop by if you need anything. My store carries lots of stuff. I mean, I'll give you a hand, but I'm going to charge you. Even in times like this, a merchant's still a merchant. Alrighty. Rando, what do you got? Not much. Um, we have some cheese, we have standing, we have escape powder, we have a lot of healing, or a uh, weapon, weapon repair. It's the same as healing. Um, I'll 
I'll buy a couple of cheeses. Oh, I bet you that we're going to encounter a lot of ghosts that are going to curse us. That sort of thing. He doesn't sell any attachments. That's kind of a bummer. You don't have any uh, Eden fruits just lying around? Fluffy donuts, fish candy, grass cakes, any of the good stuff? Nothing. Alright, well. Oh, hey, and look, we can fish. Yay, it's my favorite. Um, is there anything else we can do around here? Maybe, but maybe eventually. Maybe just not yet. Let's save. Um, I am going to have to wrap things up here soonish. But we can go do like a floor or two. Go check out the new dungeon. Go see if we can steal anything with our bandit slingshot cat. Ride the submarine. Down we go. Down to the haunted shipwreck. I'm excited. I just want to go enjoy the haunted shipwreck. That is something I think is just a cool setting in general. I love I love haunted things. I love stories set in haunted places. Be it like a book or a video game or whatever. Oh wow, that's a huge shipwreck. Oh, and it's still got air inside. Look at this. I hope we don't have to watch this cutscene every time we want to go in or out. Because this is kind of tedious. Had to look around. <laughs> Alright, we're just riding the hook. Shipwreck. Yeah, layer one. Let's do it. Due to a mysterious force on this floor, you get thirsty quicker. Um. Okay. Sorry, I had to click a thing on my computer. Uh, yeah, we'll play. We'll play as the cat. Visible. I don't know if she has any. Oh, your crabby thing. By which I mean a crab. There's a lot of treasure here. How many of these are mimics? Um, I don't know if she has. I don't know if Xiao has any undead slayer. Wind gem. Oh, cool, and your weapon's about to be leveled up again. I want to look at this. Oh, she does! Undead and fish both. Alright, that's very, very nice. Ship cabin key. Cool. I like the shelves and stuff. This is a neat area. I do not remember the inside of this dungeon at all. I remember building the town out there. Man, we're at the point now, we're getting a prison. What? We're at the point where my memories of the game are getting fuzzier and fuzzier. I remember spending a lot of time in Matataki Village. I didn't remember Queens until I, I saw the interesting and unique layout of it. Oh, 186. 
Oh, because we're using holy magic on the sword. Yeah, that's real good. Another water mill. Another. It's the first in Queens. Please don't be a king mimic. Oh, or don't be a happy clown box either. Hi, is everybody happy? A present from a happy clown. Choose whichever you like. Big box. Always the big box. Sandbreaker. Another one. That's good. Um, it looks like up is going to connect to all of the other everything, so we're going to go this way first. Broadsword's gonna take forever to upgrade. Alright, we'll swap back over to Xiao. She has a lot of water. I think she has the most out of anybody. And also her bandit slingshot is stupidly good. Um, oh, we got the ship cabin key. That probably opens up this. Yeah, 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 yeah. this it's filling with water am I hearing things I hear something like whistling no I don't I don't care sorry game I want to shoot a skeleton yes okay um what do we need oh technically we have enough but we're not we're not doing this that's silly. Attack and speed. Neither of which we have. That's a bummer. Um. stats. Put you on there. Do we have another wind? We do not. Ooh, we need to go get some more wind magic. Oh, we don't need to, but I feel like I should. Alright, Toan, go touch some balls. Doesn't look like there's any water on this floor either. That sucks. I mean, we we have water. We'll be fine. Wow, that drains so quick. That's crazy. I'm gonna use two regular waters. They are not gonna last very long. Okay. Um, we'll guess the trap. Last time it was an explosion, I think, so we'll guess poison. Yes. Small sword. Another one, which means we can probably sell it. We actually probably need to sell it because I think our weapon inventory is getting very full for Toan. Man, 
And we're not getting any items either. That's kind of a bummer. Hey, we got a soap. I mean, I guess it's something. Ooh, a hook. Oh, that'll be what we use to get between floors. That's cool. It's another one of those, like, hook elevator pulling systems. Road. Good to see they're more civilized here than what we had back in Matataki. They didn't have roads back in Matataki. Orb. And we have cleared out the first floor. Push cart, fish. And honestly, with that, we cleared out the first floor. Feels pretty good. I think we're going to call it here. We'll call it quits. Attach the pulley. We can go up. Oh, we're starting at the bottom and climbing up. That's cool. Uh, we will leave. So the question is, how big of a hassle is it to get in and out of the shipwreck? Oh, hey, we're just here. Oh, nice. Oh, thank goodness. I remember that there's gonna be like chests like back in the corner behind the building and like around the barrels and stuff. And weird vague recollections of this town. Ah, uh, this is not a this is not a geo area. If we're gonna rebuild the town, we gotta go up here and do it. Do we get any people? Let's just take a look at the stuff that we got on that first floor. I remember this one taking a while to set up correctly because there's a lot of, we only got roads. Prison, the criminals are held here. Annex room, separate from the store. A car, a very unusual little vehicle. Sunshade, cool place to escape the sun. A couple of signs and a push cart. It's a bit fishy. Wow, we don't, we don't have any people, we don't have any buildings. That's cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm done. We're, we're gonna call it here. We got a nice, fresh, lovely, enjoyable, scenic, underwater, haunted, sunken ship to explore. 